Hello, this is Katie from Crafting Ruby Dreams and welcome back to my channel where I talk about planners, goal setting, writing, publishing, and getting right with my finances. Today I am talking about a comparison between the HB90 system that was created by YA author Sarah Cannon and the Moxie Life Planner, which was created by life coach Sierra Friend. A little background as to why I'm doing this. I first took the boot camp that Sarah offers for HB90 in September of 2018, which was, I believe, the first boot camp that was offered. And I did really good. I happened to be out of town the weekend that it was done because it was a three day course at that point in time. She has since expanded it to a one week long course. I was out of town when I was doing it, but I was able to get a lot out of the course. I thought I got myself set up for success and I started doing what I needed to do. But at the end of October, some things blew up and I just got really thrown off track and that continued on for the next year, year and a half uh, due to various reasons, which I've gotten into a little bit in other videos. But I got back into it when Sarah offered a reset course in June 2020 for alumni. I had been somewhat active in the alumni Facebook group the entire time that I wasn't doing it because there were some things that I just really liked. I liked the weekly check-ins and it was a good group to be a part of. At the time that Sarah offered the reset course, we didn't have to pay anything extra you do have lifetime access to the course if you take it. I'll get into that in a little bit. But it was at a point when I was ready for a reset. I was just ready to be done with a certain era of my life and various commitments that were ending and I was ready to get started anew. So I did it. I had a lot of success with quarter three of 2020. I was very project focused. I just, I got a lot done and I got this channel launched. It was a good period of time, except I realized midway through the quarter that I was not ready to start writing again. And so I kind of lost my way a little bit with this system. So when quarter four rolled around, I wasn't feeling as focused on goals as I think you kind of need to be in order to be successful with the system. And it was also around that time that I truly became aware of the Moxie Life Planner. I'd been watching YouTube videos with planner people such as Julie's Plans, Plan with Lakin, Plan with Lore, and some other people in the Instagram planner community who were using it. 2020 was the first year of the Moxie Life Planner and I was kind of liking what I saw and it reminded me in many ways of the HB90 system in terms of some review and goal setting aspects of it, which again, I'll get into in the comparison part of this video. When the 2021 planner launched in October of 2020, I already knew very much thanks to a review video from Lakin of Plan with Lakin how I wanted to use this planner. And so I happily bought it and got it in, I think, was it end of November? End of November, beginning of December of 2020. And Sierra and her community manager, Darian of Darian's Plans here on YouTube, they offered live video interactions on Facebook and here on YouTube to get you started in the system. And in some ways it was similar to the boot camp that Sarah offers for HB90, but not quite as in depth in terms of work expected of you. So I've been using the Maxi Life Planner for about five weeks now since the beginning of the year, and I'm really enjoying it. I probably didn't get as deep into the goal setting reading as I should have, but I did get all of my goals set up using the system and the intentions. So I am happy on that front. The thing that I've recently realized though, is that I am not as focused on developing and working through some of my goals as I thought I was. I do the weekly setups. 
and the weekly intentions as you see in the weekly vlogs and it works but I'm finding that I probably need to be a bit more project focused in support of attaining goals. Which is why since I have experience in both the HB90 system and now the Moxie Life system that I'm going to see if I can do a bit of a mashup of the two. And so I decided that some of you have seen a lot of my HB90 videos and hopefully you are watching my Moxie Life videos. I did see that a lot of people were checking out my 2021 goals video. And if you're at all interested in either system or possibly even both systems, you'll find this comparison video useful. So what is the HB90 system? Well, first off, HB stands for Heart Breathings, which is the name of Sarah's YouTube channel, as well as her website and her Etsy shop. 90 is for the fact that it is a quarterly system, so the idea of it's every 90 days, roughly. It's 90 to 91, depending on the quarter. So, one of Sarah's big offerings is that she has a quarterly boot camp that is intended to help you get set up for the quarter. And it is around $199 when you first sign up, but you do get lifetime access to the course and all of the videos. It is hosted on Teachable if you're at all familiar with that platform. I have found the boot camp very, very useful because Sarah is a very hands-on teacher. She is active in the alumni Facebook group and she also has a Facebook group that is intended for that particular cohort of the boot camp. And she truly is active and cares about her students and their success. So once you are finished with that particular cohort, she will then move you if you are in the Facebook group for that cohort, you'll then get moved to the alumni Facebook group after the cohort is finished. If this at all interests you, I do have an affiliate link in the description below, and I hope you'll consider signing up for it in the link below. Thank you. In addition to the bootcamp, Sarah also offers printables through her Etsy shop. She has both dated and undated quarterly planners, and each quarterly planner offers a monthly layout, a weekly layout, and a daily layout. So it's roughly around 30-ish dollars per planner. You do get the planner for the quarter that you sign up for the boot camp for, for free. So if you sign up for the boot camp for quarter to 2021, which will be happening sometime around the end of March, you will get the printable for quarter two of 2021 for free as part of the class. In addition to the quarterly planners, she also offers a goal planner for the year that does not have any of the guts of the planner or anything like that. It's just the goal setting system. What's the Moxie Life Planner? Well, the Moxie Life Planner is a planner. It is a pre-printed, pre-bound planner that also has a goal setting system incorporated into the planner. The Moxie Life Planner was created by Sierra Friend, who is a certified life coach. It was launched for the 2020 calendar year and for the 2021 calendar year, they expanded their product line to include what they are calling companion notebooks, which are the goal setting system and are to be used with other planner systems. It was recently announced that there will be further product offerings coming later in 2021. The planner is coil bound and seven by nine inches it is for the calendar year and it is monthly and weekly layouts that are incorporated with the goal setting system. So what are some of the pros of the HB90 system? The fact that it's quarterly means that it's really flexible. You can go in and out as you need it. It is also has the monthly, the weekly and the daily layout so you can be flexible with which layout is going to work best for you is very project focused. 
Sarah incorporates her version of the Kanban board as part of the project management aspect of the system. There are a lot of resources available from Sarah on her YouTube channel, which is again, Heart Breathings, and from others who have used the system. If you do a search for HB90, HB90 method, you should find a lot of people both here on YouTube as well as on Instagram who have shared what they are doing. In fact, you can go back in my archive of videos and find a number of videos about how I have used the system in the past. As I mentioned, there is an undated printable available, so you can buy that particular version of the planner and then just keep using it so you can save some money in that respect. You just have to be fine with dating everything in the system over and over and over again. This goal setting system and project management system can easily be used with other planner systems, even though there are planners that Sarah's made available for you if that is what you choose. If you do use the planner, the goal setting system is incorporated in with the planner. It is not a wholly separate system. Weekly, monthly, and quarterly reflections are included as part of the project management and goal setting system. And I find those things to be incredibly useful and one of the biggest pros of the HB90 system for me. To the point that when I look at other systems, they have to have that and otherwise I'm not going to even give them a try. And as I said earlier, if you choose to take the bootcamp, you have lifetime access to that course as well as the Facebook alumni group. And it is just so rich in resources and others who are so willing to help you and provide advice that I think the Facebook alumni group alone is worth the $200 of the cost of the course, let alone everything you get from the course itself. So pros about the Moxie Life. Well, it's a calendar year. It's a full calendar year. So you get a bit of long range view from that particular goal setting system. It is whole life focused. So whereas the HB90 system is very project focused, Moxie Life is trying to take a look at your whole life and making sure that you are finding balance within your whole life. And this is not to mean that everything must be equal, but that you are finding satisfaction in what you are doing in every area of your life. So you don't necessarily have to be paying equal attention to all areas of your life, but that you are doing something in all areas of your life and you are finding satisfaction in it. Again, there are weekly, monthly, and quarterly reviews about what goals you are trying to achieve. Like I said, I started out with HB90 and one of the biggest pros for me was that weekly, monthly, and quarterly review section. So when I looked at the Moxie Life, I made sure it had it in it. It did. I was good to go. And like the HB90 system, Moxie Life's goal setting system is incorporated into the planner and throughout the planner. I mentioned the companion notebooks earlier. Those are A5 sized and are intended for use with other planner systems. So if the goal setting system is what's really appealing to you, but you have your planner system, it works excellently for the way your life is going. You can take those pages and incorporate them into your current planner system. Also, there are tons of resources available from the Moxie Life YouTube channel, their Instagram account, and their Facebook group. Just like the HB90 Bootcamp alumni group on Facebook, Moxie Life's group is also on Facebook and is also filled with lots of people who are so willing to help you out with any questions you have and advice from their own experiences. So check out the Moxie Life group if you're at all interested in checking out the system. It is free to join. You do not have to have a Moxie Life planner or companion notebook system to join the group. 
The Moxie Life Planner itself is sized similarly to many other popular planner systems out there. So if you are a decorative planner and into weekly kits, a lot of the existing weekly kits from various sticker makers are roughly going to be sized to fit the Moxie Life. And speaking of weekly kits and the weekly layout, there are vertical and horizontal layouts available for the Moxie Life. And if you're into habit tracking, there are our habit trackers incorporated to both of the weekly layouts. So let's get into the cons of both systems. For the HB90, it is a bit expensive, especially if you want to do the bootcamp, which is around $200. And if you are interested in printing out the printable planner and having it bound, that can get really expensive, especially doing it on a quarterly basis, whether you are using the undated or the dated. And if you do the dated, you have to buy that new every quarter. So there is an additional cost for that. Related to that, it's a printable. It's not pre-printed. Personally, I like the pre-printed aspect. That's just something that works best for me. Printables are sized for US letter, which here in the United States is probably the easiest format to print, especially double-sided. But the con for that is that that's a really big planner. The other size that Sarah makes the printable available in is A5, which is probably easier to print out outside of the US and especially in the UK since that's UK sizing double-sided but here in the US it's a little fiddly to find a printer that will print a print double-sided but b print double-sided a5 and you then generally have to cut down the paper to a5 sizing because it can be expensive to find a5 paper to print out here in the US and the last con is that if you are time strapped, you do have to carve out time every quarter to develop and set up your goals for the coming quarter. So cons for the Moxie Life. Well, number one, if you are an academic year person, it's not available in an academic year. It is only available for calendar year at this point. Keep an eye out in the Moxie Life Facebook group and on their Instagram account as they will update those with the announcements of the coming products. But as far as I know, the academic year is still not in the coming set for 2021. The next con is honestly my number one con, and that is that O-ring binding. It is actually the only binding currently available for the full year planner because of the amount of pages with the planning system and the goal setting system combined. I'm living with it. The coil itself for being what it is, is a really nice coil and it's a very sturdy coil and I really appreciate it. I just find that particular style of coil to be really annoying, especially at that size. Speaking of size, it's a fairly large planner, so it's not particularly portable if portability is something that you value in your planner. With COVID right now, eh, maybe not so much, but once we get beyond COVID, if you are on the move and you really need to have a portable planner, this may not be the best choice for you. So again, similar to the HB90 system, you once again need to dedicate time to setting up your goals. And if you're new to the system, there is a bit of a learning curve as you work through the various exercises and understand what Syria means by the various types of goals you should be setting for yourself. So those are both systems. And the next question is, can I actually use them together? I'm going to try, I, I really am. I like the annual goals that I've set for myself using the Moxie Life system. But as I said, I need to refocus myself in on them. And I think the best way to do that would be by incorporating the project management aspects and the time management aspects of the HB90 system. I really do like both systems, but I'm finding that they're both really great and there's a lot of really good things about both of them but there's a drawbacks 
that are significant to me about both of them. So I'm hoping if I can take the best for me of both, I can really create something that gets me a lot farther towards my goals rather than just kind of fluffing about. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to developing projects that are really going to allow me to focus in on various goals that I've set using the Moxie Life and moving forward in achieving those particular goals. I'm also going to be looking at various projects and stuff and when those projects are going to happen over the course of the year, like moving. That's a big question, frankly. So I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to do about that. But there's other projects such as that I can tie in towards like my financial goals and building the YouTube channel and working on writing and being more relaxed about things at the same time because that's kind of what I appreciate about the Moxie life is that it's not necessarily as intense as HB90 can be but at the same time I do need to be a bit more focused than I have been. Where I'm at right now is that I am planning on developing projects for February and March. It is currently February 30th when I am filming this. So it's probably going to take me into the first week of February to develop these projects and the various tasks associated with those projects. You can follow along in the weekly vlogs for the next eight or so weeks. And then I will do a check-in video of how the merging of these two systems did for me sometime around the end of March, probably more the beginning of April once I get everything wrapped up. If you have any questions about either system and if you're interested in the HB90 system and the bootcamp, please let me know. I'm always available for questions. You can either message me on Instagram, I am crafting ruby dreams over there, or you can email me at craftingrubydreams at gmail.com. All one word, no punctuation. I hope you have found this informative, and if you have, please hit that like button so that YouTube knows to recommend this video to others. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and the bell to be notified about when future videos are available. Don't forget to check out my other videos for planning and goal setting in my playlist, which is going to be linked above in the cards and below in the description. Thank you so much for joining me here today, and may all your dreams be ruby dreams. Bye-bye.